Hello, beautiful people. Guys, I'm Fiber, and I'm about 51 years old. Separate fiber consumption from other food consumption. During the meal, I try to separate that. It creates the layer of uh, protective mucosa in the way of digesting the protein. And it will pass into the large colon all these nutrients. Sad instance from my... That was an emergency surgery, life-saving surgery, just because someone ate a lot of... Hello, beautiful people. Topic is... Um... Dietary fiber. So, through my experience, and I'm about 51 year old, I've decided to separate fiber consumption from other food consumption. So, normally people would take some form of fiber in form of uh, vegetables or fruits during the meal. I try to separate that for the purpose of uh, not precluding the digestive process so specifically in the morning and in the evening so i would take fiber at my uh what is it so i would start the day with water then would be um, um then then would be some um, yogurt and then would be some fiber in form of uh, not sweet fruits such as uh, apple for example so here in poland and we are in the booking.com accommodation pretty nice um this kind of apple not sweet perfect so i would peel the skin because skin is uh, it's uh, it tends to irritate your lining and it has some allergens uh, some people would argue it has more vitamins and so on but yeah i would preserve my uh, stomach tissue and gut tissue so i would peel it i would cut it i would take all the inner hard parts and then i would consume it so that would be in the morning and uh, it pr it creates the layer of uh, protective mucose sort of thing uh, for your own digestive tract to function properly. So it creates sort of a protective layer for all the digestive enzymes to stay in the stomach and in the gut. And uh, that would be in the morning. Uh, in the evening, it help your next day uh stomach motility gut motility and overall health so it would absorb all the toxins and uh, ideally so and even in that case i would not take the sort of harsh fiber which is uh, for example cabbage really harsh fiber so you if you if you boil cabbage make a soup or something that is uh, uh, pretty easily digestible or easy on the stomach, on your gut fiber. Uh, specifically pectin. Pectin is the best. Uh, apple is full of pectin. Easily digestible, so apple is the best. But some apples are sweet. Some apples have a lot of uh, uh, allergens as well. So they vary from one kind to another. And um, during the day, you don't really, if you mix uh, fiber uh, with the protein, for example, it actually um, gets in the way of digesting the protein. So fiber would absorb the enzymes, it would absorb the protein, amino acids, and it would pass into the large colon all these nutrients which is not really good for your for your colon so like norm is the chicken rice broccoli so i understand why broccoli is there it's uh, to help motility because you don't you don't get anything else but if you consume that in the morning or in the evening it's much better than if you consume it during the day with the uh, ingredients that you get from the palatable food so 
and then it um, helps your stomach to be flat and oh I did <laughs> not flat and bulging apes uh, so during the day you still you still consume fiber in form of uh, juice that's I ideal situation for me so for example uh, for example juice uh, like this forest berries um, and uh, there's a mix uh, this is carrot juice and carrot juice Oh, it's actually organic, allegedly. <gasps> juice. It's time for my juice. So I would take, the, obviously, I would, I would drink anything. Water, you need to take water apart from any juices. So I would take that sometime before the meal and after the meal. Never during the meal. You can sort of wash it down a little bit. But never during the meal because... Uh, Digestion is compartmentalized, compartmentalized, compartmentalized. So, so for example, uh, you have a stomach which is uh, all acidic, highly acidic, and that is for proteins. And uh, it needs to stay there because this is the whole digestive process. So this uh, mass then passes on to the gut and reacts to the alkaline uh, environment of the gut creating the bubbles which helps obviously uh, acid pl plus alkaline creates bubbles co2 bubbles or in this case yeah if it's uh, bicarbonate of anything it would be um, yeah and uh, for potassium or sodium so these uh, bubbles uh, helps to digest uh, fat for example so it emulsifies the fat layer creating all these uh, nice uh, uh, entities for the enzyme to act upon also it stimulates the bile release which is really essential for the activation of the digestive hormones digestive enzymes so I don't drink during the meal so uh, I'd say 15 15 minutes 15 minutes stop to the to the meal to the actual meal and ideally half an hour half an hour to the actual meal and half an hour after so I wouldn't disturb my digestion with any any juice so for the good digestion you eaten and you, you know, ideally you relax for five, ten minutes. Or actually, I watch YouTube videos with tasty food, and it helps to create and release uh, the enzyme, the the juices. So ideally, I would rest and then only in half an hour, ideally one hour after, I would drink something. So this is full of uh, fiber this is uh, mostly soluble fiber and uh, such as pectin and then in the morning my ideal is the um, tomato juice which is organic as well i would i would salt it and that would uh, wake up my stomach my digest digestion and in about half an hour, at least half an hour, sometimes it takes more, I would, I would take my breakfast. So during the day, I would drink these juices between the meals. And however, I don't, uh, um, I don't abuse it. So I take it easy as well, because it does uh, trigger some stomach juice release and you don't want that if you don't have actual food i found here an amazing <laughs> an amazing product which is borscht ukrainian uh, soup 
and I think it's an essence of Ukrainian borscht. So if you what you, what you actually need is just uh, uh, is just um, boil your meat, or you buy buy some uh, some stock, and then you boil some vegetables, and you can add this and this uh, this wonderful taste and this uh, variety of this. So this is my take on fiber. Uh, I think it's very essential uh, that um, I take it in, only in the morning and only in the evening. So especially evening. Uh, okay, you can you can do without the morning if you if you switch on your digestion with uh, with yogurt. It's still good enough. So the stomach starts working. It releases some enzymes already and it's ready for receiving the food. In the evening, you need, essentially, you need to push all that been digested through the day. You need to separate it from the period when you don't consume food. And ideally, that is a lot of fiber. And I know, actually, this is really important and it can be a health part hazard if you, if you mess it up. And I know a sad instance from my Nears and dears. So uh, some people don't take uh, my advice or don't don't need such advices. Um, anyway, so what was that? That was an emergency surgery, life-saving surgery, just because um, someone ate a lot of. Uh, fiber in form of uh, pickled cabbage uh, before the bed and uh, and that was uh, together with some seeds you know the seed that helps linen seeds how, the, how they're called do you know how they're called S seeds uh, okay so there's uh, some seeds that's sold as um, as the um, supplements, apparently they you know increase in volume. So all in all, it it caused some uh, gut blockage. I would assume severe pain and it's life threatening, obviously. So there was uh, an emergency operation. So this is really important. It's important that you know this and you don't mess around with your stomach, with your gut. <laughs> You don't know how fragile our body is. So there you go. Hope this helps and does help me to stay young and healthy. Hopefully a little bit younger, <laughs> a little bit healthier at my age of 51. Uh, be well and swell, beautiful people. See you later. Mm -mm -mm.